this morning I'm at a train station called Airballs. There we are. This is the local train station to Motherwell, Motherwell FC. That's my ground hopping ground today. Motherwell are playing Hearts at midday kickoff. It's about a 10 minute walk from this station to the ground. But um, yeah, just traveled in from Hamilton, literally a nine minute train journey, so all very <laughs> easy and convenient. But Motherwell not had a great season this season. I think they're third to bottom as we speak. They won the last game, but they've been hovering near the bottom. Currently managerless. They're talking, as I speak, to two potential managers, as in Jack Ross or Ian Holloway, which will be interesting if they appointed Ian Holloway. But, yeah, so, but they... I mean, Motherwell have been in the top flight since 1985. And that's not a bad start. I mean, that's well over 30 years. That's when they last got relegated. So, I mean, look, all good things come to an end, and they could drop this, They could drop down this season, because it happened to come on a couple of years ago. But, yeah, but um, maybe a new manager will give them their sort of new bounce as, new teams seem to have with a, a new manager but yeah so I'm gonna have a little wander down now check out Fur Park already got the ticket so looking forward to the game and I don't know should we chill on Motherwell I'm gonna chill on Motherwell I'm gonna be in the home end so let's chill on Motherwell today I don't know if we chill on heart so so I'm at Motherwell so come on come on the well Motherwell and um fingers crossed for a home win see you outside the ground literally a couple minutes from the ground. I can see the top of the ground over the houses. But, um, playing hearts today. I don't know what sort of crowd hearts are going to bring. They normally have quite a decent away following. But I'd be interested to see what the attendance will be like today. But just a quick note, how easy it is to get from Hamilton to Motherwell and vice versa. I mean, I know Hamilton and Motherwell are the sort of big rivals. Sort of um, derby day. So they don't play each other at the moment. I mean, you know, cut the division apart. And that will probably be two for next season, but you know, there's no excuses why there wouldn't be capacity of crowds, sort of especially for um, the away fans because it's so easy on the train, it's like two stops away, it's just the easiest journey ever for an away fan. So, I hope you know, when they do play each other, there's, there's you know, really good away following, but um, yeah, so I'm just outside the grounds, so I might have a wander around, take some footage, and then let's uh, go in and find my seat. I'm outside the Phil O'Donnell stand. There it is. So I'm looking forward to going in now. I've not seen a Scottish Premier League game since I was at Kilmarnock back in the last year. So looking forward to the game. Nice to go to decent sized ground. Um, one of the bigger ones in Scotland. But yeah, so Motherwell versus Hearts. I'm going to go through the turn size now and get my seat and I'll see you inside. about 10 minutes in, quite a lively start, noisy fans, you've got the sort of fans opposite, so that must be their sort of hard course singing in at Motherwell, so we direct competition with the Hearts fans, but um, yeah, noisy first, so it's noisy first 10 minutes, but it is still the real. sitting in the Phil O'Donnell stand and if I'm being honest I'm completely underwhelmed I mean the seats are just like 
open seats with no backs that have been sort of, sort of stuck on the old sort of wooden bench scene that would have been here from years ago. The stand's a wooden stand. And the pillars coming down, so, you know, I'm not, you know, parts of the stadium opposite to the left and right look much more modern with nice new seats, but where I'm sitting now, not impressed at all. But it's all, all the seats are dirty, there's all bird crap on the seats. You, you know, at least wash the seats down once a week, because everyone's wiping the seats down with napkins and tissues. But, yeah, so, first impressions of this stand, don't like it at all, a bit unimpressed really. Stadium, I see it all seats up, holds about 13,500. I see got the stand behind the left hand goal, modernish, quite a small stand opposite. Obviously, this stand, I mean, the fellow Donald stand, I don't like at all, it's very dated, very old, not impressed. And you've got the right, set the stand to the right of me, which is for the away fans, which is it's quite big actually, it really dominates the skyline, but that's probably the best stand actually, the away stand. But um, yeah, I mean, I really wouldn't want to be in this stand. When it's a capacity crack because you know it's really tight, you know, and you'd be really, really handy, you've got no leg room at all. But, um, yeah, so, um, stadium's okay, I don't like this stand, but the rest of the stadium's okay. But, underwhelmed from this stand, definitely. So, so when I come into the ground earlier on, I tried to sneak a bottle of water into the ground, but the steward stopped me said oh no you can't take bottles into the ground and I, said, well, and I asked why can't I bring a bottle of water into this ground he said no no you're not allowed to take any bottles into the ground a bottle of water a bottle of coke because they could be used as missiles <laughs> which seems a bit over the top so so there we go bottles can be used as missiles in the ground so and if you don't know as well you, they don't serve alcohol at all at Scottish grounds and it just feels like the Scottish football authorities it's just treat fans like idiots and children, you know, they, there's no alcohol, you can't bring bottles into the ground because you might use it as a missile. It just, a bit, it just seems massively over the top, you know, just, just calm down a bit, you know, but anyway, so you can't, yeah, no bottles in grounds in Scotland whatsoever. It's the rules, the rules are the rules. This stand it ends there, so this stand does not go the full width of the pitch. It sort of ends there. If you sit any further right to me here, you cannot see that goal on the right hand side. So, you know, I don't keep criticizing this stand, but it's not great when you sit in this side, but yeah, so that's a bit annoying, really. That bit there, but yeah, that's the view you get. You have to sort of sit to the left a bit so you can just about see the goal. Game, so it always hits the post, but yeah, but it's been it's been quite end-to-end -end actually. Both Motherwell and Hearts have had chances. Uh, quite a lively half hour actually, but um, that's the closest someone's been. Hearts hit the post, but currently after half an hour, it is still nil nil. Being honest, it was a defensive run of play, but yeah, finally a goal's gone in, crowds have reacted. I love it when the home team scores, but the players run to the players run to the corner to celebrate, but there's no fans. I don't know why they've done that for. No one could see them, but but anyway, so it is Motherwell one, Hearts nil. So Hearts just had a free kick, just hit the crossbar, <laughs> so they hit the post and the crossbar, but uh, still one nil to Motherwell. Hearts have been on top of the first half, but they are a goal down, so um, Motherwell just took their chance. But it's very close to half time, but it's currently Motherwell 1, Hearts 0.
So it's half time, half time, Motherwell one, half nil. It's been a bit of, you know, entertaining first half. Um, you know, I want to go back to this stand again. I know I keep moaning about this stand, but you know, I paid £25 for this ticket. And I expect it to be a decent view and a comfortable seat. And I don't have either, so it's a bit annoying. But the other three stands look okay, look much better compared to this stand. I mean, um, you know, for a premiership side, it's got to come on. It should be better than this. But, um, but fans, you know, noisy. The fans opposite me, very noisy. They've obviously, that's where they've beaten their drum. So they've been singing and beating their drum for an hour. But yeah, but half time is 1 0 to Motherwell. Motherwell scored, I missed the goal, <laughs> but it's a 2 0 to Motherwell. Wasn't expecting that straight out from half time within, within a minute, and it's now Motherwell 2, Hart Newell. Another chance saved by the goalkeeper, still 2-0 to Motherwell. Um, home crowd really livened up now. I mean, opposite, they're hardcore singing and in that corner beating the drum. You know, throughout the whole game they've been singing. So fair play to the Motherwell fans in that corner. Hearts fans went very quiet. But you can feel it's like a sense of relief for the Motherwell fans because there was only like bottom, the bottom couple of weeks ago. But so I think it's going to be back to back wins. It's got caretaker manager at the moment. So it's more relief from them. Because obviously they don't want the track door relegation. Hearts were third. Still will be third, but you know, what they're playing for. They're not going to catch trying to sell it, so they probably will stay third for the remainder of the season. But I say at the moment it's still 2-0. It's another one nearly scored again. <laughs> Very close, but um yeah, still 2-0, but um, the, the Motherwell players are up for it now. They, you can, they can sense a decent victory. Still 2-0, but got a feeling there might be a couple of goals in this game. Fingers crossed the wrist, but it is still 2-0. Nearly scored again. How that didn't go in, I don't know, but it's... God, that could have been 3 and it's still 2-0, but Motherwell definitely on top at the moment. But yeah, yeah, really like decent second half performance for Motherwell but um, you can hear the crowd but still 2-0 but yeah really good second half so if this is the first time you see this channel thank you for watching basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm travelling all around the UK ground hopping all the grounds in the sort of football league Premier League in England and obviously all the SPFL games grounds sorry in Scotland and also the National League grounds in England I'm on about number 27 at the moment. This is my seventh Scottish ground, about 15 in England for four National League games. So, yeah, so I'm looking to do them all in the next couple of years. That's my little quest to myself. I've always wanted to do it. I thought I'd film it as well. But if you like what you see, please subscribe, please comment I'm on Twitter as well now. So, please follow me on Twitter. Please like as well. It helps. And um, yeah, and um, follow me on my little, my little journey around the UK to all the different grounds. announced the attendance in the Tannoy, just over 6,000 here, and they said there was 2,400 odd away fans, Hearts fans, which, you know, I'm quite impressed with that, decent away following from Hearts. Um, Mother would definitely be on top second half. I've been a, oh, I've been a bit disappointed with Hearts, to be fair, you know, being third, I thought they would have done better than what they've done, but it is still 2-0, but there is a corner now to Hearts.
an easier way following there. You can just about see it through the glass and the stand. But yeah, over two tiers for the away fans. But yeah, decent away turnout for Hearts here at Motherwell. train station just a quick summary of the game so good win in the end for Motherwell I think they needed it more than Hearts um, it's obviously been struggling near the bottom of the league a bit disappointed with Hearts I'm being honest I thought they'd done better today just didn't think they was ever going to score today but um, yeah it's um, good away following from Hearts and bear in mind that these two Motherwell and Hearts could potentially play each other four times a season and, and even more if they get themselves drawn in the FA Cup the League Cup but yeah so good good away following just over 2,000, good atmosphere. Um, you know, I always say I'm always impressed with the um, the games when I come to Scotland. Obviously, they're not involved sort of Rangers or Celtic, but yeah, it's good good atmosphere. Um, as I say, always impressed. But um, good result for Hearts. And, um, good result for Motherwell in the end. Pulls them away from the bottom of the league. But final score was Motherwell two, Hearts nil. Mm -hmm.